Okay guys, so it is 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm on my way to the airport for the first time. I have never flown. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm going when I get there. Um, this is gonna be my first time vlogging, so I'm super excited about this video. Um, I'm gonna show you my whole experience and where I'm going for the first time. Um, I'm really nervous about the flight, honestly. I'm nervous. I don't even know where to put my carry-on bag. Like, I don't know where to put anything. Like, I'm nervous about checking my bag in. I'm nervous about getting to where I'm supposed to be. Um, I'm nervous that I'm not gonna get a nap in because literally I didn't sleep. I was so anxious. I'm just nervous. So, but I'm really excited too. So, yeah, that's where I wanted to start the morning off with. So, um, here we go. Hey guys, I just landed off the airplane and can you guess where I am? Vegas. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock in the morning and I already lost $50. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little like vlog while I was getting ready. So we're going to somewhere special, so I'm gonna surprise you in just a second. But uh, right now I'm getting ready. Uh, we just got, and like I said, I lost forty dollars. Me, I was up forty dollars and I lost it all, but it's fine. I'll get the hang of it. Um, came upstairs, um, got started getting ready after the flight or whatever. So we're about to go downstairs. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube. I might have to bleep that word out. Though if you hear a horn every time I say that word, you know what it is. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm about to go downstairs and play a game. Um, <laughs> and um, then I'm going to go to the really nice place that's going to be so beautiful and you all are going to want to see it. So yeah, I'm just getting ready right now. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... So here we go. So we're going to the Valley of Fire, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, so I got it snapped This is also part no. of the Valley of Fire. I don't think that's a good idea. Isn't it pretty? So I really like the show Naked and Afraid. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but I've never been to a desert and this definitely is a desert. And so I saw like a lizard and I was like, you know, I feel like I should catch that and eat it because I've been so into this show lately. And then I saw a little cave and I was like, I definitely would camp there. So instead of Naked and Afraid, what about like, distraught and clothed or like stressed and dressed Madison part one so this is the beginning of the valley of fire guys Up oh my so goodness! Y'all gonna have to hike and oh wow, I'll this is the Valley watch. of Fire. Well, we're just kind of driving into it right now, but this is just the edge. Uh, this, this is, is the nothing, edge. This is nothing yet. Well, we have what is it? The Seven Sisters. Apparently, this is nothing, but I think it's pretty cool. These um, oh yeah, it's amazing. This <laughs> this this thing, these rock formations, and I think it's called the Seven. The, Okay, so the Valley of Fire was so amazing, but when I tell you it was hot, y'all, it was so freaking hot. Like, it's not like hot and humid. It's like hot and dry. Like, it's a whole nother level of hot. Like, my eyelashes were like literally just falling off in clumps because they didn't even know what to do with it. It was crazy hot out there. So, it was so beautiful, but hot. <laughs> 
What happens when you touch a cactus? Sorry, my hand shaking. This hurts really bad. Got it. So, <laughs> one of my favorite movies, my favorite character of the movie takes a cactus from one of her favorite places. So, I thought this Las Vegas was like so amazing that I wanted to take a cactus from it. So, I didn't realize that all cactuses were pokey and I found this one cactus that looked really smooth and I was like, yeah, I'm going to take this cactus. And so, I stuck my hand in it and little did I know there were like a thousand pokies in my hand. So, we had to go to the help center at the Valley of Fire and get all the pokies out of my hand and when I tell you it hurt, it hurt. But, finally got the cactus. Look at this happy face. <laughs> So this is the what? The Bellagio? This is the Bellagio. The Bellagio. Look at the flowers. They're taller than people. So this is a hotel and casino, right? Yes. So the flowers are literally taller than the people. Like, there are the people to scale and there are the flowers. So maybe one day when I get famous. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. They're... They're closed, but guys, do you see those bags? Boo. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Like, those are all made out of flowers. It smells like a funeral home, but pretty. It does kind of smell like a funeral home. <laughs> So this was the Bellagio and it was absolutely amazing. So they had these flower sculptures in the hotel and casino and it was so awesome. Like it was so magical. Like it's hard to believe that someone could make these big sculptures with just flowers and their two hands. So we had a blast. It was so pretty and fun to look at. And next up are the really pretty fountains that everyone talks about. All right. So these are the fountains at the Bellagio. They go off, I think like every hour or so in Vegas um it plays to a song but I cannot play that song because again YouTube did not like that very much so I had to take the song out and mute all the audio um but the fountains were amazing like it literally was in sync with the song and it was so cool like it was just amazing like we went three times to go look at the fountains because literally you got splashed with the water they were so powerful like it was just amazing and i really enjoyed watching it and it was just peaceful and it was you walk so much in vegas like you literally walk to everything that it's like a nice moment just to like like stand in one place and just watch something that's relaxing listen to a song have a drink, do whatever you want to do, and uh, just relax for a minute and watch something that's really pretty. Um, and it was just a really great scenery of all the lights around you. And the strip is right behind you, so you're really close to everything that you want to be around. And I just really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I don't know why the fountains were, like, honestly one of my favorite parts. Um, and they played to a different song almost every time, so you never kind of knew what to expect. Um, but I really liked it, and I thought it was so cool that a casino put this on. Um, so, yeah. So, the fountain was about three minutes long, but I did not put the whole three minutes in here. I would have if I was allowed to put the music in here. Um, but I can't. So, yeah. But this was the finale of it. It gets bigger at the end, so I did want to show you that. So we're eating it in and out for the first time. <laughs> it's something called animal style. Apparently it's good. <laughs> Sorry for the repeat video, but I didn't have any pictures because I was too busy consuming the food. But I have been craving in and out ever since I got home. It was absolutely 10 out of 10, y'all. Hoover Dam Lodge. So this is the Hoover Dam, guys. Well. 
Today, it is the keystone of the water supply system. How amazing is this? At that time, this reservoir was named in his honor. It took over six years to do it. How pretty is this, y'all? Oh, my goodness. So the Hoover Dam was absolutely amazing. Like, it's so weird how different things are. Um, from home, you know, it's so like amazing to see the difference. I wonder how different Dollar Generals are here. Oh my God, look how many freckles. <laughs> you usually can't see my freckles, but you can really see them here, that's so funny. But I'm just like really blessed to be able to come here and like it's so like humbling to like realize that like sometimes you feel like you're in such a small space and then you get into like a place so much bigger and you're just like wow like maybe whatever I'm going through isn't really so bad because there's a lot more out here than we even know sometimes it's easy to get tunnel vision and I think sometimes going to a new place really helps that so we were fortunate enough to get Hell's Kitchen reservations and it was so good um I watched all of Gordon Ramsay's Gordon Ramsay's um, television shows, like his cooking shows, and I wanted to try it so bad. We had beef wellington and mashed potato puree with vegetables. It was delicious. Oh my God. I've never eaten so much in my life. I was so full. It was so expensive. I didn't get the picture of the dessert because literally once I started eating it, like I couldn't stop. It was so good. Like it, I would recommend going there if you ever go to Las Vegas. Okay, so this is a chandelier bar, guys. How pretty is that? Whoa. I am doing a video. <laughs> Cosmopolitan and we are on the second floor and it keeps going down and down oh my goodness it is so beautiful and here's here's my baby Cliff and he's standing beside me there he is yes and there's there's Dylan and his beautiful girlfriend Madison oh I just love them to death Madison's so sweet. Okay, Dylan. Sour. It's like a Sour Patch Kid combo. Stop. <laughs> okay, this is great. How pretty was that? Like, it was amazing to see all those crystals. Honestly, it made me want to have a chandelier in my room. <laughs> All right, so this is Caesar's Palace. Y'all, we're inside right now. Okay, wait for it, it gets better. What? There's a waterfall. We're taking them with us. What? Stores I cannot afford. <laughs> Stores I wanna afford. Whoa. Inside, y'all. Y'all, this is a mall. There's Victoria's Secret. So Caesar's 
palace had a lot of like statues and stuff that were really pretty. Some of them I couldn't show because they were nude and I was scared I would get demonetized, but it was an amazing experience. They just had a lot of pretty statues. They had aquariums in the hotel um, that were really awesome to look at. And they also had a whole mall in the hotel. Like, yes, please. Like, can I just live there? Um, it was really awesome. And the mall literally looked like you were under a sky, like when you were shopping. It was so amazing. And I really wanted to go to the Vanderpump, but, uh, the reservations were lit. So we took a really amazing gondola ride through the Venetian Hotel and Casino and it, it ran through the entire mall. We were going to go on the outside gondola ride, but it was a high wind advisory that day. So we had to do the inside one, but it was still just as beautiful. And we had walked so much that literally all of us almost fell asleep. It was that relaxing. So the first time I tried to upload this video, it was the really nice gondola music that that guy is playing over there, but YouTube did not like that very much. So <laughs> I can't play the music for y'all, but I still wanted to show you the scenery and kind of the like, just the like, I don't know. I just wanted to show it to you because it was really beautiful and awesome, but I'm sorry that you can't hear the music when. What's your last name? Oh, yeah. Last year at this time we were still shut down. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful time of year to come. Yeah. Wow. Party time, yeah. And where do you visit us from? North Carolina. Ah, uh, You came all the way across the nation for your bundle ride. Uh.